Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Richard and welcome back to the Trade Align channel. Now today's trading strategies video will be talking about inside days and inside bars in general and how to use them effectively. Now by themselves, inside bars, inside days, inside weeks are not uh, trading setups or trading strategies, but when paired with a high potential stock with a great story, fundamentals, as well as a promising chart pattern, um, this can be a very effective strategy to position in such a name. Uh, so first of all, what is an inside bar? Uh, well, using this inside day as an example, you can see that this trading range from the high to the low is completely contained within the prior day's range from the high to the low. So I've drawn out a horizontal line from the high and from the low, and you can see the stock didn't manage to break out or undercut this level either. And for those of you who use TC2000, here is the PCF code. It's very simple. Basically, the high is less than the prior day's high, and the low is greater than the prior day's low, and you could easily transfer this over to TradingView or Thinkorswim. Uh, so that is how an inside day is defined, and you can see on the chart, anytime there's a blue histogram, this is also an inside day, as is this, as is this one as well. So now that we know the definition of an inside day, how do we effectively use it within our trading? Uh, well, as we know from market structure, stocks like to trend to the upside, to the downside, or go sideways, form a base and consolidate and kind of get ready for the next move. And on a short term time frame, an inside day is basically a very short term consolidation, volatility contraction pattern, because by definition, this range is contained within this one. And basically the stock will have to then choose a direction based on which way the institutions are net net um, buying or selling. And if it goes to the upside from this inside day, we might have a trend of a few days to the upside. And likewise, the downside, uh, we might have a short term trend as it breaks this low. Um, and this same thing holds true on a weekly chart. If we go to a weekly um, and find an inside day right here, uh, you can see that as soon as we break above this inside week, I'm sorry, this is an inside week because we're on a weekly time frame. We have a short term directional move for a nice potential trade. Um, so the same concept holds true on a daily chart, a monthly chart, yearly chart. Um, basically, it's a short term consolidation. And then from tightness comes expansion. And going over to uh, this space right here, this is really the whole point of this video um, is you always want to use an inside day, inside week within the context of a high potential stock as well as a strong overall chart pattern. So here we've got a kicker candle and a nice move up the right hand side of a base right near a pivot. And then we have a nice inside day on declining volume. That's also key. You always want to see declining volume on these inside days. And from there we get an inside day and up, which starts a nice uptrend um, into the end of 2020 on Tesla. So this is a good example of an overall strong chart pattern. And from there, you could have used an inside day and up as a short term tactic to position in such a name, managing risk maybe at the prior inside days low or the low of this day even. And what's important to remember is that an inside day is a very short term pattern and it's best used for swing trading or even day trading. But if you're more on the position trading or investing side of things, you might want to prefer uh, to go over to a weekly chart and find basically inside weeks and look for inside weeks and up. Uh, near a overall uh, base pivot. So here we've got Tesla in 2020 formed a base pivot right here at around 192 post split. And we had a nice inside week right here and then a powerful breakout on higher volume than this inside week. And from there we have a nice start to this overall trend. So inside weeks are great for investors, position traders, um, and you often get a really explosive move breaking out of these pivots because as we know on a daily chart, uh, this is a volatility contraction pattern on a shorter term time frame. And for another example of this, which really shows how um, double inside weeks or inside weeks in general are actually volatility contraction patterns, we can go ahead and look at PLTR within its IPO base. Nice volatility contraction pattern, uh, declining volume on the pullbacks, move up on higher volume. And going over to a weekly chart, this is actually double inside weeks. Um, which is a really powerful pattern. And I highly recommend you set up a screen for something similar to this. And from this point, we have a super powerful move breaking out of this inside week and up and yielding a 100, 200% move in just a matter of a few short weeks. And recently, one thing I've been watching, one stock I've been watching, uh, which is showing double inside weeks is um, Unity. And you can see nice double inside weeks above this prior pivot. 
um, after a push up on volume. And we have yet to have a definitive breakout through this pivot, but I'm watching for a breakout through this high, this one as well, and this one. So a lot of pivots are lining up. And once you spot an overall pattern, like a double inside week, what you want to do is go down to the lower time frame and find a spot to enter right near those pivots where you can manage your risk against the low of the day and basically have your stop loss at a relevant technical level. So overall, that is a brief explanation of how to use inside bars as a swing position trader uh, to basically buy that expansion from that contraction. Um, and what's important to remember is always look for declining volume on the inside day, ideally a good closing range as well on um, an inside day, inside week, um, higher than mid range. And also you always want to look for inside days, inside weeks within the context of a strong overall pattern and in a high potential stock with great fundamentals and technicals. So with that, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not uh, yet to the TradeLine channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,